Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add music to your PlayStation 5 live stream on YouTube or Twitch. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So you're live streaming directly from your PlayStation 5 and you want to go ahead and add music. Well, this is actually really easy to do. However, you will need the splitter cable for an auxiliary cable. So this will have two ends right here where I can go ahead and plug in my headphones and an auxiliary cable that will go to like my computer or my phone. And then this end will plug directly into my controller. When looking for an auxiliary cable, you want to go ahead and find something with three lines on it and the headphone jack end. And one will be for the microphone, the other one will be for your left audio and the right audio. And then you will want to go ahead and get two auxiliary cables. So I have two of them right here. And it will be the same thing for the auxiliary cables. You want to buy something with three lines on the top here for microphone audio, left and right audio for your headphones. And these will have two headphone jack ends on them. That will plug into your controller and your smartphone or computer. So I'm going to plug my auxiliary cables into my splitter cables, just like this. Then in this video, I will be using the Pulse 3D headset, and you will need a headset that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can plug it directly in. Now there are some headsets that do not have that, like this Turtle Beach headset I have, does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone slot. So if you do run into that situation, what you could do is just use your headphones that came with one of your smartphones, just like this. Since these have a microphone on it, you could still speak to people in your party chat in the live stream. And instead of using one auxiliary cable, just go ahead and plug this headphone directly into the splitter cable. Then you'll be able to get your audio for the live stream, and then you'll be able to speak to people in your live stream with the microphone that comes with this headset. So now I'm going to connect my Pulse 3D headset. Then I'm going to take the far end of the splitter cable and connect it to the headphone port on my controller. And just place this in. And now I have the audio for the game in the background in my headset already. And you can see my microphone is going up and down in Call of Duty, indicating my microphone is working. Now I have an open auxiliary cable. And I can go ahead and plug this directly into my phone, just like this. And then if I bring up like Spotify or YouTube or anything like that, I can go ahead and have the sound from my phone on my live stream. So this could also be like an MP3 device or anything with a 3.5 millimeter headphone slot. You can plug it directly into. So I'm going to connect it to my computer because that's the easiest way for me to get audio. So there's a couple different ways you can connect it to your computer. I have a speaker right here and it has a headphone slot. All I need to do is plug my auxiliary cable directly into this open slot. Now anything I play on my computer is going to run through this cable directly to my controller and it's going to be picked up in my live stream or over my chat. Now, another way that you can connect this to your computer is directly to the tower. Now, you can connect this on the back end of the tower, or there may be an open headphone jack right on the front. So, I'm going to do that here. Okay, great. I got everything set up. Let's go over to my computer now. So, here is an example of what I bought. I have a headphone splitter I bought from Amazon, and it'll just look like this, and I'll have it linked in the description below. And it's very important you find something with the three lines on the jack end. And this is what it looks like up close. So this brand is just called Ducable. And here are some auxiliary cables that I bought. And you can connect them to multiple different devices, anything with a headphone jack end. Now when you're scrolling through Amazon, most of these will only have the two lines, indicating you will not get the microphone audio in your broadcast. So be very cautious about that. Now, if you're going to be playing live music in your live streams, check out no copyright sounds on YouTube. This will provide you non-copyrighted music that you can use in your live streams and you won't get a copyright strike or claim. So I really recommend this channel. 
They have some really great content on here and it's all free for you guys to use like Alan Walker, Fade. Then if you go to your channel and then go to YouTube Studio, on the left hand side, if we scroll over to Audio Library and select this option, there's also free music just on YouTube that you can completely use too. And you can search for specific genres on here like electronic or like more dubstep kind of music. And you can play this in your live stream and you won't have an issue with claims or strikes or any kind of DMCA stuff. Now, before we get started with our live stream on the PlayStation 5, we need to make sure we have our audio coming through our controller and not our headset. So if we press the PlayStation button and then open up the PlayStation or the quick menu down below and go to sound, then go to output device, make sure it's selected to headset slash controller. So if you got like a headphone plugged in like my Turtle Beach Stealth 700, select controller. Once you have that selected, we can increase the volume right here for the headphones or decrease it. And if you're gonna be live streaming directly in the game chat, you may want this option, disable game chat audio, so people won't hear you live stream or they won't pick up the music in your live stream because that's all gonna be coming through your microphone. So if you have this selected, you won't hear anyone talk and they won't hear what you're live streaming. Otherwise, just go to game base and create a party. So I'm gonna join a party chat with one of my friends who's offline. Now no one in the game chat will hear me. So now let's go to broadcast and start our live stream. And I'm just gonna go live on YouTube. And then for this video, I'm just gonna set it to unlisted so no one can see it. And this is just gonna be a test stream. Playing music on my live stream, test stream. Perfect. Now let's go live on YouTube. And I have my camera on as well. So here I am, hi. So now let's go ahead and get some music blaring in my live stream. So on my computer right now, I already have downloaded non-copyrighted music and I'm going to start playing it and it's going to show up in my live stream. So here's me live streaming and my music is coming over my headphones and going into the live stream. So here's me. Now to prevent an echo, if you're going to be doing this like on your computer, make sure you have the live stream muted or the volume all the way down otherwise you're gonna get that reverb every like 10 to 15 seconds from when you're talking and the music's playing so if this video did indeed help you out go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos related to the playstation 5 coming up next on your six studios